Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I am, as always, working from home, and I know a lot of you guys are as well. So I decided to put together kind of like a small little lookbook today to share with you 14 looks if you need to self-isolate or quarantine for 14 days with some loungewear at home if you have the luxury of being comfy. I know a lot of us are working from home and still have a lot of Zoom conference calls and like Slack calls and Skype calls as well. So. If that is the case and this lookbook is probably not necessarily appropriate for you but if you have the luxury of just staying at home and not having to jump on a conference call and you're self-isolating which means you're probably not going to be stepping outside you can afford the chance to wear loungewear and the reason i did it for two weeks was so that you would have enough outfits to rotate through i guess like 14 days completely if you really needed to without going out to do laundry if you don't happen to have laundry within your unit i know a lot of us either have shared laundry accommodations in our buildings or you go to a laundromat if you don't have one in your condo i would love to have my own um, house where i can just do all my laundry in the basement we do have a laundry machine in our condo unit but i would also just like to have a house at a time like this because it'd be nice to be able to walk around instead of being stuck in a little tiny 600 square foot condo so this lookbook is for all of you guys who are probably at home by yourself. You don't need to dress up and you want to be cozy, comfy, and in your loungewear, I've put together 14 outfits pulled together with only seven pieces so that you can maximize your wardrobe and mix and match a little bit and have some fun. And it's kind of like one of those working from home dress and comfy wear but make it fashion. And we're lucky right now that loungewear is trendy because sweats and sweat sets are really popular. So. It kind of helps that I have a lot of these pieces. So what I'm going to do is run through quickly all the pieces that I have that I'm going to show you guys. And then I may or may not decide to show the outfits along with the piece in the video. And if not, then you'll see all the remaining outfits towards the end of the video. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, I forgot to mention, hope you guys are staying safe at home as well too. So first thing I'm going to show you guys is a sweater I've literally been wearing nonstop since I got in San Francisco last year. And it is this just giant tourist sweater that I bought in one of the local shops along the wharf. I have this in a size, what is this, a size large. It's a Hanes sweater, so similar to like Gildan, that sort of thing, just your typical sweater. And I really liked it because this one is actually embroidered onto here. So it's not just, I guess, printed on, it's embroidered, so the material is great. It's gonna last me a long time. It has started to pill though, because it's not necessarily like a high quality sweater, but it's so comfy and fuzzy and soft in the inside. And I wear this either with sweats, jeans, leggings, or sometimes I even wear this completely by itself with no pants on because it is long enough for you to be able to do that. So this is kind of like pulling the Ariana Grande look where she wears sweaters and I guess high-waisted boots. I'm not going to be wearing boots because I work from home already as is and I just don't wear shoes indoors. I think it's strange to track dirt from outside into your house. So I don't really wear shoes whenever I wear my clothes at home, which is why you're going to see a lot of these outfits sans shoes because I'm not wearing them outside. But this sweater is a main staple and I have been wearing it nonstop. Many different ways that you can wear this sweater either by itself with socks on or like draped around your shoulders paired together with other pieces. I love this sweater because it's a great layering piece as well too if you're at home and you want to throw it over like a nice light tank top that you have to keep yourself cozy, you definitely can. So these are always available in my closet. I have a whole variety of them but I decided to choose this one for the video. If you guys have a significant other that can steal the sweaters to use, that's also always a great opportunity to maximize their closet and make it yours as well. So that is piece number one. There's a total of seven pieces here. I'm gonna show you two pieces next and it is a matching sweatsuit. You guys should not be surprised by this because you know how much I love my matching sets already as is. But I actually picked up this sweatsuit for my recent trip to Florida at Ross. It was a deal. I think this was like $15.99 USD and that comes out to around like $20 Canadian. I don't think I've ever seen a sweatsuit for that cheap anywhere here in Canada so I was very happy with that. It is this like light pink little set that comes with a pair of shorts, has a drawstring, fully functioning drawstring and also a cropped sweater with a hood on the top here. Oh this is already facing the right way. Also drawstring as well. The inside is lined with a really soft fleece material so it's super soft on your skin. Sometimes I don't even wear a bra underneath this. If I'm gonna be honest, I don't wear a bra 95% of the time. I only wear a bra when I need to wear it for support or the material is too see-through or just a special occasion where it's more appropriate to be wearing a bra. But I love this sweater because it's nice and cropped so you can wear it together with a lot of other high-waisted jeans or sweats that you have. It's also fun for the summertime for you to wear shorts as well. It's not like a heavy one, but it also comes with a hood. I probably don't actually wear this hood this often, but I like it if you ever need to, to keep your head warm, I guess. I actually layer this top a lot with other different pants. I don't necessarily wear it with this matching set all the time. So it's a great mix and match piece. And you'll see that I have been able to use this in a lot of different ways in this video to create a bunch of different outfits. These shorts are also fantastic. They're not uber short, but they are fairly short. They just have a drop crotch. So it's a little bit longer and it gives you a little bit more coverage. You don't have butt 
butt cheeks exposed or camel toe or anything else and what's great is that it also has pockets when I'm at home, I have all the surfaces to put my stuff on, so I don't really need pockets per se. It's more when I'm outside, but I do wear this sweatsuit out and about as well, so it's great to be able to have somewhere to store extra things if I need to, like keys or my cell phone at home. I just put my hands in if I'm walking around and being bored. I love these shorts because they have a raw edge hem on the bottom, similar to the bottom of the sweater as well, but it doesn't curl. So I don't know how they managed to do this where the material doesn't curl up. I'm sure you guys have seen it in your t-shirts when the bottom edges just like start to roll up from the raw edge, but it is great, super soft on the inside, similar to the other one, and I love it. I've also repurposed these shorts with a bunch of different tops just to get a lot of variety into my outfits as well so that I can mix and match them quite a bit. So I love this set and it's great for not only lounging around in the house, but also cute for wearing outside as well since loungewear is trendy right now. So this is my growing pile that I always do every single time I do one of these videos so you guys can kind of see like how many pieces of clothing that I'm showing you. So this piece is not really a quintessential because I would say I just never wear bras especially when I'm at home so you don't necessarily need it but some of the outfits that I put together actually do incorporate sports bra so I have included my white Calvin Klein one. I have this one in like black and gray as well. I just thought that white would work well with this lookbook since everything was very like beige, pink and white for some reason. Did not plan this guys, it just happened to be this way when I was picking out the outfits. So I have this white sports bra from Calvin Klein here and I like to layer this sometimes underneath my sweaters. This is also a great way to crop any sweaters that you have. You'll see in the video how I was able to crop the really long burgundy San Francisco sweater with the help of this sports bra. Obviously you can also do that with a regular bra as well but I find that with the underwire bras, they're not as tight around your chest here, so your sweater does tend to kind of like fall out a little bit afterwards throughout the day, which is why I like to pair them together with sports bra whenever I'm cropping a sweater. If you also have a shorter cropped sweater and you raise your arms and I don't know, if you have to be moving around, the sports bra kind of like saves you so you don't have any like under boob flashage. It also gives you that like extra paddedness to your shirt, I guess. I don't have anything to pad really. I am a tiny, tiny, tiny and flat. Not wearing a bra right now, transparently, guys. But if I was, I would usually wear a sports bra because I find them a lot more comfortable. If you're at home and you have the luxury of just wearing this to walk around, then yeah, go for it. I'm going to include some outfits to also incorporate the sports bra as like a main piece as opposed to an undergarment. So feel free to wear it that way as well if you'd like. We are now at four pieces and I have three more to show you guys before the video is over. Next up is this really cute kind of like crop top that I got from H&M recently. I think this one is quite affordable. It's under $20. I'm going to do my best to link everything that I showed you if I can. And a lot of these actually are kind of older pieces. So if I'm not able to source the exact same one, I'll find an extremely similar one for you guys. So you can also place an order for that if you'd like. But this one is from a recent H&M order. So I believe it's still on the site right now. I actually love this top so much. This gives me such like 90s throwback vibes to when I was in like middle school and I was wearing cardigans. They weren't cropped back then. We didn't have crop cardigans. We had cardigans that went all the way down to our waist, but I really like the material. It gives me that kind of vibe, especially with these like thin buttons down the front. I love to wear this together with high-waisted jeans, high-waisted sweatpants, high-waisted shorts, anything high-waisted. And if you're comfortable enough to flash a little bit of stomach, then you can also get away with wearing some like low rise as well, or just like a sliver of stomach right there. Super cute, very comfortable and very breathable, but I would highly recommend wearing a bra and Underneath this one just because it is white so it is a little bit more see-through especially if you're gonna be jumping onto any conference calls with your colleagues you want to make sure you have that covered up but if you're living at home alone then like who cares just wear it I do <laughs> I actually wore this top specifically in LA without a bra quite a few times and I felt perfectly fine the material is a little bit thicker but if you are worried about like having pricky nipples they definitely will show through because the material is not that thick it's not like wool you're still gonna see some texture there you could, definitely could get away with wearing this without a bra second last item I'm gonna show you guys is a long loose t-shirt now your t-shirt doesn't need to be pink it could honestly be any other color I just happen to pull pink because I haven't been wearing this t-shirt for a long time now and I wanted to bring it back out of my closet to give it some more wear I also love that it kind of has like a washed out faded look now that I've washed it quite a few times and it's a lot looser really comfortable relaxed kind of like your favorite boyfriend tee and it also worked well with the whole color palette granted so that's kind of why I took it out I love to wear t-shirts in multiple different ways you'll see in this video that I have cropped some of them using the sports bra technique I also learned a brand new way to kind of like twist tie them so sometimes if I want them to be a little bit shorter I like to twist tie it to the side as opposed to the front the front is cute but I feel like twist tying your t-shirt to the side is a little bit more unique and it pulls your waist in a little bit more so it slims your figure a little bit more than having um, a direct knot right in the front. If you guys are interested, let me know. I've been thinking about doing a video about different ways to crop your t-shirts and sweaters so that you can style up your closet without having to purchase cropped items because I know not everybody's always comfortable with buying cropped stuff, especially if you don't know how many times you're gonna be able to wear it. So let me know if you're interested and I'll definitely make a video sharing all of my different cropping techniques. But in the meantime, this is the t 
t-shirt that I use in this video. I have a bunch of other ones like black ones and white ones as well that I would also wear and you can definitely interchange between all of them. It doesn't need to be pink, but I always have one loose tee in my arsenal whenever it comes to designing outfits just to have like a more casual and comfortable outfit whenever I want one. Very last thing I'm going to show you guys and then I'm going to wrap up this video is these pair of sweat from Uniqlo. I am obsessed with these. I actually bought these when I went to Florida recently back in January and I did not intend to buy these whatsoever at all. We'd actually walked into Uniqlo looking for Mel and Dave and I happened to see this on the rack and it was freezing there one night at Disney Springs and I had a skirt on so I really wanted to get on a pair of pants and I was like you know what while we're in here why don't I look at some of their sweatpants and see if I can find anything because if I do, I can put it on and keep myself warm. If I don't, then like, so be it. I'll just suffer. Go back home. We're going home in a few hours and I'll be okay. Lo and behold, this was one of the first things I was sitting on a hanger in the rack at the front of the store. It wasn't my size. I think this is a size small. I'm usually a size extra small. And I actually went around the entire store hunting this exact pair of sweatpants down. Turns out they were completely sold out and I was super, super bummed because they have something very similar still right now in store. The only problem is that these sweatpants actually have a really soft lining on the inside that is really, really comfortable. It feels like microfiber or like fleece. It is amazing. And all the other sweats that they currently have are terry cloth line on the inside, which is like not the end of the world, but it's not the soft coziness feeling that you're looking for when it comes to sweatpants. And this pair was actually the very last one available in the entire store. So it was actually marked down, I think to like $19.99 when the other sweatpants were $29.99, something like that. So I managed to score one in a size that fits me relatively well. I tried on the extra small and the other sizes that were similar and it was like way too tight. Like it was almost as if they were like skinny sweats. This one has the perfect amount of relaxedness but still tight enough down the ankle that it tapers that it fits me perfectly. So I'm very happy that I found this one and I feel like it was just universe's sign of saying, take these ones, they belong to you. So I scooped up the last pair, found out that it was on sale and actually found out that they fit me way better. And I've been wearing these non-stop. I'm obsessed with these ones. They have pockets, which is great for traveling and also a drawstring if you need to tighten your pants a little bit. I've actually been wearing these sweatpants non-stop when traveling because they're so comfy and they're also cute. I don't own any beige sweatpants. All my sweatpants right now are either gray or black. Yeah, all my sweatpants are gray or black. So it was nice to kind of venture out of the gray black sweatsuit zone and to also pick up a pair in beige as well to kind of like alternate my closet up a little bit. And this is such a chic silhouette that I've been wearing them nonstop everywhere, like wearing them out, wearing them traveling. This is literally one of my comfiest travel outfits that still look cute. I have a lot of root sweatpants that are very adorable, but they definitely do look a little bit more like lounging around the house loungewear versus lounging to be chic loungewear. So these are my favorite acquisition as of late of all the clothes that I've recently purchased. And I can foresee myself wearing them a lot, especially now that we're all gonna be working from home and I have no reason to exit the house anymore. And just because I love to be in comfy clothes all the time anyways. One last thing I want to touch base on, you guys probably may have noticed that I have on a pair of socks with all my outfits in this video. Don't worry, if you're wearing these for 14 days straight, I would not wear these socks. Every single day, I would style them up with a couple of different ones. I have a couple of different knee high. They go up to the bottom of your knee socks. And I would just like wear them and rotate them out throughout the day with my outfits. To be honest, most of the time when I'm at home, I actually just wear slippers, but I want to show you guys socks in case you want to see what it would look like to keep yourself cozy because it is still kind of cold outside. We're officially in spring now but it still kind of feels like winter sometimes. Please do change up your socks. Don't wear the exact same ones for 14 days straight. Obviously same goes for underwear. I didn't show it because my underwear was not the focus of any of these outfits as opposed to the sports bra. So please make sure you change your underwear every single day. That goes without saying guys, I shouldn't have to tell you that. But otherwise, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I will of course try my best to link all the different pieces in the outfits that I showed in the description bar down below along with uh, similar options if any of them are sold out or they are no longer available. If you guys try out any of these outfits, please do let me know. Tag me your photos on Instagram because I would love to see them because they're self-isolating and you don't want to have to do too much laundry because either A, that's going to rack up your bill or B, you don't have laundry within your house and you need to step outside of the house to do that. <sighs> this is how you can minimize your laundry trips. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is two weeks worth of clothes in one small little pile here. We're not making a huge mess. I think I'm gonna try to put together another video, which is gonna be another two weeks of self-isolation outfits. And it's gonna also be revolving around working from home, but more kind of like business casual. If in the case you do need to still pop onto your Zoom calls or your conference calls with work and you need to be on video, you can still look chic, but still feel comfy at home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to follow along with me on Instagram and Twitter. You guys can check me out down here. I also have a TikTok account now that I'm trying to post like a couple times every single day just because 
I'm keeping up with my cardio and my fitness by learning TikTok dances. That is my goal. During the quarantine, I'm going to try my best to learn as many TikTok dances as I can and use the practice as cardio because all the gyms are closed and I need to get my fitness on somewhere. So this is how I can do it. If you guys also want to check out my Poshmark, I'm in the process of literally clearing out my closet. I have taken so many photos in the last two weeks alone that I'm gonna have to start like posting all these so I can get all these pieces out of my house. You can check me out on TikTok and Poshmark here. My username is the exact same for both. Otherwise, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying at home, and I'll see you in the next video. Have an amazing day. Bye.